In the spring of 2021, the acclaimed commentary series Connections is going to be complete. The final volume of year B will be available in probably April or May, and the entire nine volume set will be available after that. Designed to empower preachers as they lead their congregation to connect scripture to their lives, the Selectionary Commentary Series provides valuable insight and worship aids on each scripture within the Revised Common Lectionary. Each year, A, B, and C have three different volumes and offer interpretations and essays on each reading, connecting the passage to the context of the passage within scripture, other passages within scripture, and other passages contained within that lection. Additionally, there are commentaries which help the preacher or teacher to connect scripture to all aspects of contemporary life, such as culture, film, literature, art, ethics, etc. The complete nine volume set should be available in May along with three volume sets for each year. Can preachers learn anything from advertising? Authors O. Wesley Allen and Carrie LeFerl believe so. They wrote the book Preaching in the 30 Second Commercial and believe there are some very concrete ways that even though preaching and advertising are worlds apart, advertising can teach preaching a few things and not just shorten your sermon to 30 seconds. Both preaching and advertising must compete with various ways we receive and process information in this distracted world we are in. Preaching simply tries to muddle through most of the time, while advertising knows it must constantly relearn how to reclaim its audience's attention and keep it. Allen, a preaching professor, and LaFerl, a professor of advertising, have written this first-of-a-kind book on what preachers can learn from advertisers, including sharpening one's analysis to better understand the congregation, understanding how the form of a sermon can lead to greater or lesser effect and how to build a sermon around imagery and narrative. Readers will learn how to understand and communicate with their congregation more effectively. When his cousin died after continued struggles with incarceration and homelessness, Patrick Reyes, author of The Purpose Gap, asked the question why his life turned out so differently from his cousin's life. He arrived at the conclusion that it was a matter of conditions. While they both grew up in the same marginalized Chicano community, Patrick found himself surrounded by a host of family, friends, and supporters. They created a different narrative for him than the one the rest of the world had imposed upon his cousin. Basically, they created the conditions in which Patrick could not only survive, but thrive. The Purpose Gap offers inspiration and practical guidance for pastors, leaders, educators, family, and friends to not only perceive their calling to create new stories and new conditions of thriving for the most marginalized, but also help them to fulfill that calling. Our last book is a continuation in the series of interpretation resources, and it's called Women in the Bible by Jamie Clark Souls. In this new commentary, scholar Jamie Clark Souls examines how women are presented in scripture taking into account cultural views of both ancient societies and our own. She treats well-known biblical women from fresh perspectives, highlights women who have traditionally been ignored, and recovered those who have been erased from history's memory. This book aims to equip pastors and teachers to consider women in the Bible from multiple angles and, as a result, help people of all genders live God's vision of better, more just lives as we navigate the challenge of our complex, globally connected world. This is a great commentary to use as a primary source for preaching or teaching about the women in Scripture.